So I just watched the new Space Jam movie. Now, first and foremost, first and foremost, I, do, I, ju I just don't. I, d it just, I just, I just. <sighs> Let's start with the original Space Jam for a bit. The original Space Jam was amazing. From my opinion, it was good. When I was growing up, it was amazing. It was cool. Real people and cartoons. Awesome. That's amazing. All my favorite characters when I was growing up come together to play basketball. And back then, I liked basketball. I didn't want to watch the sport, but I liked playing it with friends. You know what I mean? And I loved watching it. Some of the sp stuff was boring. Just all the stuff was boring with the humans and stuff, but then when it finally got to the cartoons, I was like, Whoa, I get to watch them and play and all the other stuff? And then they play the game, they do shenanigans, life lessons being learned, all that other stuff. And then at the end, everyone's in victory and the bad guys lose and all that stuff and everyone wins and blah 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 blah. Basic 90s movie. And of course, a lot of people to this day still like it. I still like it, I have it on VHS, and I watch it from time to time. But then, this movie. First off, acting was bad. That's not to say the first Space Jam movie had good acting from Michael Jordan either. But LeBron, and his son, and every human person that was acting was awful. Keep in mind, I am not going to be too rude to everyone who made the movie. I liked everything from a viewpoint of some degree, but I do not like what was directed to make the movie, like the direction. I'm also not being rude to the director either, because I don't know him, so I really don't care. But I don't want to be too rude to have people be like, Oh, Leo, you're such a bitch. Blah, 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 blah. Shut up. I'm just stating my own opinion. Let me do it. Anyway, acting of the human characters was atrocious, except for maybe the villain. He was sort of okay. And of course, the voice actors for the cartoons and the animated stuff was okay. Like, perfect voice actor material. But the story was also janky in a way? It starts with a hard cut into what looked to be, like, of course, LeBron's son and the wife talking to each other probably outside of school, I believe, and they talk, and they do a cringy handshake, and then they go their separate ways. And then it cuts to a montage of the past when LeBron was little in the 80s, and automatically you see a Looney Tunes backpack. That automatically assumes that it's going to be awful and cringy. And because 80s, he's playing a Game Boy, and I think it was a Mario ripoff of a Looney Tunes game. I don't know if it was a real game, but I, it just looked awful. And of course the coach goes, oh, you can't be playing these games, you gotta stick to the plan and all that. Cut to years later, and LeBron's two sons are playing a game, or practicing for a game, or whatever. And the youngest that wants to make games, he's like, oh, I don't want to do that. LeBron goes, you have to keep your eye on the prize. And I'm like, he kind of is, but he's doing it for two things. Making games for himself and other people, and playing basketball for you, dad. And then at one point, it cuts to, I believe, where the son is making the game with the two computer screens, and he's just like, oh, look at this, and I'll do this, and this, and this, and then a glitch happens in the game, and he's like, what's going on? And I'm like, I don't know, I'm just watching this movie, don't ask me. And then LeBron does a dab, cringe, and I'm just like, why, why, why? I get modern, I get modern... Uh, stuff is, you know, modern and new, but you don't have to do it all the time, like dabbing. Really? And then cut ahead to LeBron go into this meeting for a video game that he is contributing into being in, I believe. I don't really know, but it's in the Warner Studio, and if you ever watch the movie, this scene made me get super angry to, to the ninth nth degree. In the background of one of the guys on the left of the screen, there's golden statues of the Warner Brothers and sister from Animaniacs. I don't know if that was propping for the movie or if they're actually a real thing in the Warner studio, but oh my god, they are just... 
pitching to the fact that you're in Warner Brothers, you're in the Warner Brothers studio watching a Warner Brothers movie made by the Warner Brothers. And I'm just like, oh god, they're they, they're really doing this. They're actually doing the same thing that they did for the first Space Jam, where it was like sports memorabilia and merch, like for Nike and Adidas and Michael Jordan's stuff and everything. But here, it is literally punched down your throat to say, hey, we're basically an advertising movie. That's not to say that other movies technically do that. They show brands, they credit them, all that stuff to get the revenue for movies and merch and all that stuff. That's not a bad idea, and I don't not support it. But this thing, I think they're just doing it as a joke at this point, and it's like 20 minutes into the movie or something. I don't really know. I didn't keep track of time. But during this meeting, the evil guy is, like, looking through a, uh, hologram or something, and he's like, Oh, LeBron's liking it! LeBron's liking it! Wait, he's not liking it? God damn it! And so then his son, uh, notices that his dad doesn't like the game, and he sprints off like a baby. LeBron chases after them and all that. They get into the elevator, and this is one of my peeves from the f start of the movie, because there's gonna be a lot of peeves going on. So, in the movie, they're, they're going in the elevator, and they're talking, all that stuff, and talking bullshit, and they stop at the basement, and I believe the son was trying to go to the parking garage of the studio, or the lower level, or however the studio uh, places work, and basically, uh, he exits the elevator thinking it's the parking garage or something. And then, as the elevator was stopped and opened, and you see the computer room, but the sun doesn't notice it or something, the number on the elevator inside says, or does a glitchy thing, and that was supposed to be a sign where, oh, something bad's happening. Well, couldn't it have happened during the elevator ride itself? Like, going down, they're talking, and secretly the button or the number glitches, and then it goes to the basement or computer room or whatever that was. Like, that was very confusing. That is one of the major things that I hate so far of this movie. So LeBron and his kid are having a little argument in this computer room or whatever, and all of a sudden, the son gets zapped into... Stargate stairway or whatever and LeBron's like oh, my kid and then he runs and then all of a sudden it glitches again and then they show the villain named Al G Rhythm let me repeat that Al G Rhythm now if you guys know what algae spelled it's A L G A E like the green stuff on a rock or whatever but no it's Al A L and then G and then, uh, Rhythm. I'm surprised if this person was a real person, he would be smacked at school for his name. That was just a side note, I'm sorry. So they're talking and talking about how, oh, we're gonna make a perfect game or something or whatever, and then he flashes LeBron into the Toon world by his cute little sidekick. By the way, can we talk about his sidekick, Mr. Algae Rhythm? Your sidekick is adorable. But for whatever reason, it looks like the half-skeletal model of Nemo from Finding Nemo. Like, any 3D modelists out there, do you know what I'm talking about? Where you're like halfway into shaping a character's face and it's just a colored blob? That's what this character is. A cute little blob that is not skinned yet. Like skinned to make look like a human or an animal or whatever. That's just my personal opinion. So LeBron gets sapped into Toon World and he's in the desert and of course when he gets smacked under the floor he shows the Nike symbol! Yay! Merchandise! $100,000 please! And then, uh, I believe that's when Bugs drives in and runs him over or something and then they meet, they talk while actions happen and Bugs explains in the movie that he is a Toon, nothing bad can happen to him, and he does all of his wacky shenanigans like Bugs does and all that, and LeBron's like desperately trying to not die when he literally just heard sa Bugs saying, Oh, you're a Toon, you don't have to get hurt, but then again I would react the same way too. I feel like I'm gonna die and then all of a sudden I get squished into a flat pancake and survive for some reason. I don't know. So LeBron uh, briefly explains how he needs a team to 
uh, get his son back by playing a basketball game. Bugs literally explains that in a question form, and then he looks at the camera and says, Does that sound familiar? And I'm like, Oh, Space Jam reference from the original. Ha 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 ha. Kill me. So they go into different dimensions and worlds of the animated form. Um, I don't remember most worlds, but I believe most of them were animated, and uh, I know most of them were Warner merch, because Yosemite Sam, I believe, was in a black and white movie for some reason, and I don't know what movie it was, but I didn't get it, but I bet it was Warner Brothers material. Um, the first world they went to, though, was the Batman and Robin, or the Superman, or whatever animated superhero show was, where Daffy was supposedly wanting to be a Superman hero, and he's like, oh, I'm gonna force this train into oncoming, uh, orphanage, so that way I can potentially save them in the end. And of course, because Daffy is an egotistical jerk, he fails, and he is, is almost about to kill everyone, but the real Superman shows up and saves it, and Bugs Bunny just drags Daffy like, come on, dude, we gotta go. And then he goes to the other worlds in a montage fashion to get all the other characters. And at one point, uh, Foghorn Leghorn is a woman in the Game of Thrones, I believe, on a dragon? And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what? Why? And then they go to Lola, and oh, Lola. Now... The first Space Jam, I liked Lola. She was my favorite. She was a girl, she played basketball, and she was yellow. My three favorite things put into one character. I liked her. And her voice was so cute and so amazing. But this Lola. So, she's voiced by Zendaya. And again, I'm not being rude to any voice actors or actors or anyone, but why do they have Zendaya voice Lola? The first voice actor, Kathy Sushi, would have been per- Did I say that right? Kath- Kathy Soshi? I think that's what it means. But her voice was amazing, and she ranges in different characters throughout animation history. She would have been perfect to maybe pitch down the voice maybe a teeny bit and make her a bit more louder and braver than what she sounded like. Because for Space Jam, she kind of sounded meek, but now that uh, this Space Jam had Zendaya, they were like, oh, let's make her more bolder and stuff. But they could have had Soshi come back, because I think they have some same voice actors and some different voice actors for different characters. I'm pretty sure Bugs and Daffy from the Looney Tunes show voice actors came back to do this movie. I'm not sure. I'm not looking too much up because I don't want to take much time. But why Zendaya? Anyway, tangent over. So she's in this Wonder Woman comic book universe, and I get it. Girl power, all that crap. But... It, it was really weirdly animated, and the animation was amazing. It was good, it was gorgeous, everything. The colors and everything, but some angles and some keyframes were a bit weird to make her face torch and all that stuff, but like, otherwise it was okay. But, yeah, so Bugs and LeBron are trying to convince her to get out of this game that she's doing in the Wonder Woman universe to come play basketball. And there's this one line from LeBron where he's like, You need to play a basketball game! And he's like, half screaming, but not really screaming. Which, if they wanted to rush this movie, I get it. I get they want to rush this movie into completion, but... Couldn't they take a few days to have vocal direction with LeBron when it came to the animated stuff? Like, I'm just saying. So Lola gets convinced, she goes on the spaceship uh, that has all of the characters in it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, Bugs at one point after the, co after the t conversation with LeBron, he steals Marvin the Martian's uh, spaceship for some reason and then gets all of the characters. Uh, I forgot that part, but whatever. So anyway, everyone's practicing in the giant spaceship in space uh, for basketball, and everyone's, of course, awful, or they do their own loony thing, and Lola is the only perfect one that knows how to play basketball, and I think that may be a reference to her being good from the first movie, I'm not quite sure. But then LeBron's like, no, you can't be loony, you gotta be normal and actually play the game right, and everyone's like, okay. 
So during this time, uh, Algy and LeBron's son, I believe his name's Bron, but I'm just gonna keep calling him his son. So the son and Algy are talking, and it's like, kid, you can make good video games. How would you like to make your video game come to life? And he's like, really? And he's like, yeah. So then they make the game, and they're like, oh, now we just need some people in it and all that stuff to make the game more fun. And the kid's like, okay. And so the guy gets, um different players from different game uh, teams, I believe, and they mash them in with uh, different DNA of different things. There's a snake, there's a spider, um, there's water and fire, and I think a robot, I believe. And the kid is like, oh, this is so cool, their abilities will be amazing, and Algie's like, yep, and so they bring it to life, and they come down to the tune world and be like hey your time's up you gotta you got your team and everyone's like yeah so then the assembly goes and this is the worst part of the scene so the game is technically loading in the whole tune world going on so the first part of the loading is they needed upgrades as algae put it he upgraded the Toon characters into 3D. Mind you, the 3D is okay, it's just that some faces or some parts of some of the characters' bodies were terrible. Lola's face was awful, like, it looked like Bugs Bunny's face, but with larger mooshed eyes and a mooshed face and chubbier cheeks and smaller teeth. It, it just looked really weird. And Bugs was okay, Daffy's looked amazing, uh, Porky and Elmer's looked okay, uh, Gossamer's looked okay with some issues, Foghorn Le Leghorn was a bit okay, but otherwise, I don't know why they needed to be 3D. But like, I guess 3D's the new thing, so why not? I don't know. So they load everyone into 3D, and they get everything set up, and the game is being made, and as the game is being made, uh, every, and I mean every, franchise of the Warner Brothers become the audience. There's the Flintstones, Iron Giant, there's King Kong, there is Clockwork Orange, I believe, uh, there's It, there is some other stuff that I can't really remember off the top of my head. Oh, Jetsons, um, and that's really weird. Um, but yeah, and as I put it when talking to my friend, I as I was watching a movie with my friend, I described all of the audience members, not the audience members themselves, but the whole scene of all the franchises coming together into one game to watch a game. I described it as visual porn for the Warner team to jack off to, with $100 bills as the tissues. And I'll tell you, my friend, he, uh, he laughed so hard at that, and I just wanted to point that out because that was my personal opinion. Like all the characters the Warners have ever, uh, franchised and came up with coming together to watch a game. Fascinating. So everyone's suited up, and they get the villains to come out, all that stuff, and they're played by different basketball players that I don't know of, or characters that I don't know of. I don't know, I really didn't care at this point. So the game goes, villains do their thing, gamers do their thing, and everyone is like going, whoa, and uh, all of a sudden, uh, the villains are winning, of course, and the guys are like, oh, we don't know what to do, but LeBron, we're doing your thing and all that, and uh, they're doing this pep speech in the waiting room, and Sylvester comes by and says, look, I brought Michael Jordan back, and everyone's like, what? And in my head, I'm like, oh god, and I thought, I thought it was actually gonna be Michael Jordan, but then they brought out Michael B. Jordan, and I forgot if he was an actor or a singer, I don't know, I don't care. But Sylvester comes out saying, I got Michael Jordan. Michael B. Jordan comes out. And then Daffy's like, this is Michael B. Jordan. Why did you get confused? They don't look the same. And Sylvester's like, well, I thought it was Michael Jordan. And I thought he aged well for the last 25 years. There is another Space Jam reference. Oh, there was a... Th there was an actual second Space Jam reference before this third one. It's when they were getting Lola into the game and they were like, We need you to play a basketball game with LeBron James! And Lola's like, Been there, done that! And I'm like, Oh my god, shut up! We get it, the first movie was a success, but why are you doing this movie? Not every movie needs a sequel or a prequel or a second movie in the franchise. One's good enough. 
so then the pep talk is like, oh, you you need to be yourselves to play the game. And LeBron figures that out and is like, oh, shit, we should do that. And they're all happier now coming out of the meeting room into the game. And they're like, let's do our own thing. And the Looney Tunes do their shenanigans. The villains do their issues and all that stuff. And there's one part... There's this one part where they show the Monstars when they were little in the court audience, and I'm like, what the hell? And my friend pointed this out. He, he said that they were actually recycled animations from, from parts of the first movie, and I'm like, really? Really? Why? Why even have them in the first place? Just, uh, but, like, you can have them as a, as a callback, but like... Why use reusable animation? That's just, that's just low, even for this movie. So all of a sudden, uh, LeBron's son comes in to play the game, and LeBron is feeling anxious about playing against his son. His son is doing great, LeBron's doing great, everyone on each of their team is doing great, and then LeBron's son is like, oh, maybe I should play with my dad, and Algie's like, no, you shouldn't, and the, ki the kid is like, oh, but I want to, and then he goes up to play against his dad, his dad throws the ball away and talks to his son and be like, you could do whatever you want and I'll be proud of you or some shit, and they hug, and everyone's like, aw, and I'm like, Hurr! and then they... They, uh, they're all happy, and I believe LeBron's son gets into the Toon Squad uh, team, I think. I don't know. And they're like, okay, so what happens uh, to us if we uh, do a certain move? Because LeBron's son mentioned a move that could possibly win the game, and it's called the glitch move. And basically, uh, if one character does a certain step and goes out of bounds, they get glitched out of existence and deleted forever. So everyone's contemplating on the whole game, and LeBron's son actually show tells the um, a certain how to do the certain move, like the steps and everything, and how to pass the ball and all that. And everyone's like, "Well, we're not doing that." So LeBron and a few of the characters go out to play, and they're playing the game. And LeBron passes the ball, but Bugs Bunny steals the ball to do the glitch move, which is is like noble but at the same time not so good so he does the step 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 pass ball whatever and in slow motion first of all the slow motion in in this movie was awful it sounded like everyone actually dragged out their voices in fake slow-mo like no like that they couldn't have done it like in editing where they did normally and they did like slow-mo low voice no like that like i i don't know but they do fake slow-mo voices and all that and bugs gets deleted and lola's sad everyone's sad and lebron gets uh, sees that he made the hoop, and everyone's like, whoa, we're almost there, we, we got a point left, whoa, and they're like, we have to do this for bugs, for the tunes, or whatever, and so LeBron, uh, jumps, and he's about to get tackled by a player, I think it was Algy, or this cyborg character, or whatever, and he's like, reaching out, and at this point, I was expecting for LeBron to do the stretchy arm thing that Jordan did in the first Space Jam, like another reference or something, and I would, if he, if he were to do that, I would have slammed my computer down and hung up on my friend, because goddamn, if he did that, I would be angry, but nope, his son threw a template out in the middle of the game and made him jump up even higher to get the hoop and he did it and the Toon Squad won and Algy got pissed and he got deleted and everyone got deleted and everyone's like surrounding bugs going like no don't die wah 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 and uh, everyone says thank you to LeBron and his son and him leave the Toon world and bugs dies and everyone's sad and shit go back to the real world they're like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry too. They hug it out again, they leave the building, and uh, his son is about to get ready for basketball camp, I believe he said, but then he shows his son um, an E3 convention area where it shows that they're doing a video game camp or something, and his son's like, thank you, and then he goes off walking off, and out of nowhere, Bugs pops up, and he's like, hey, remember, I'm a toon, nothing can actually kill me, and I'm like, Oh, you motherfucker. You wanted to... Just why? And so then they go like, uh, Can I spend a few days at your place, LeBron? And he goes, uh, sure. And he's like, I want to bring all the others too, because we're family. And LeBron's like, okay. And then it cuts to the credits. Uh, I'm done. My final results? It was okay. Story and acting and pacing was not too good. But the 
but the everything else, the animation, the storyline within the game, the character development was okay. Everything was okay, like 40 to 50% okay. Um, so yeah, I hope you like my unscripted review. I hope I never do this again. And goodbye!